I remember when I was first diagnosed with cancer, one of the questions that plagued my mind was, what good can come out of this? What, what good can God bring out of this situation? What, what is it good that I have cancer and, and that my children may lose their father? But recently, my, my, uh, this question, I was reminded of the answer to this question. Uh, the last time I was in the chemo ward, I was receiving my chemo uh, treatment. I saw this lady uh, who was receiving her chemo as well. And I saw her sad. I saw her face countenance was very sad. I could tell that it was fear on her eyes and, and she was very depressed. And um, and I and I began to talk to her and I tried to explain to her that uh, she doesn't have she doesn't have to go through this by herself. I told her that she can have hope in, in going through this through Christ. And, mo and more importantly, I told her that the real issue is not that we have cancer. The real issue is not that our bodies may die. But the, the real problem, the real issue here is our soul and the condition of our souls before a holy God. I told her, look, God may heal you. Uh, Christ may heal you. He may not heal you. I don't know. But this is the real issue. The issue is what's going to happen when we die. Because the truth and the matter is that sooner or later, we're all going to die. So the question is, what's going to happen with your soul? That's the real question. You see, I could promise her if I wanted to. I could promise her that, you know, come to Christ and he will heal you and say this prayer and accept Jesus into your heart and I would have closed the deal. But in reality though, the truth of the matter is that I don't know uh, whether Christ will uh, heal her or not because uh, it's not that he's not willing, it's just that I don't know the will of God in that way. I know the will of God that is revealed the, in, in scripture for all his people. But sometimes uh, it pleases the Lord not to grant healing. So I, I couldn't lie to her and tell her, look, if you come to Jesus, he will heal you. In fact, the issue is not a, a question of uh, a physical illness, because sooner or later, we're all gonna die. And just because I have cancer, or just because she has cancer, it doesn't make any difference because you see, the only difference between a person who has cancer and one who does not have cancer is that the one who has cancer is more aware of his mortality and is more aware that the time is near. And in that sense, that person is it's in a better place than one who thinks that he has a long time to live. So I told her, look, you don't have to go through this by yourself. Uh, I told her, look, in the world we speak of hope, but really what we mean is that we have no idea. We hope for the best, but we don't know. Uh, I can tell you this, you, you can have hope in Christ. And, and more importantly, you can have hope that your sins have been forgiven. You can have forgiveness of your sins because the real issue is not that we have cancer, but it's that God is holy that the wrath of God is upon us, but that Christ came to save sinners. I told her, Christ came to save sinners and lived a holy life, a perfect life, satisfied God and His, and His righteousness and did everything that is required of men so that anyone believing in Him will have their forgiveness, will have, will receive pardon from God on the basis of Christ by putting their faith in Jesus Christ alone. And I saw her face countenance change. I told her, look, God, God may heal you or he may not, but the problem, the real issue is your eternal destiny. I can tell you this, that he will be with you to the end and he will not forsake you. You can have hope and assurance of God's love through Christ Jesus. And, uh, and I saw her face change. And, and, and later reflecting upon this, uh, 
I realized that if it wasn't because I have cancer and I was on that cancer ward also receiving treatment, I, I would never had the opportunity to talk to this person about Jesus Christ and, and, and uh, many others that I have been able to share the gospel with in that word. So, so uh, it, it was just a small token, just a, mo a small reminder that, that God uses our afflictions and that our sufferings are not in vain and that this disease, however, however dreadful and, and painful it, it may be, uh, it, it has a purpose. And, and really this is what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find a purpose uh, for, my, for my disease. I try to use it for the glory of Christ because I know that He has not given me this in vain, that He expects me to use it for His glory. And for so long as He gives me life, that's what I will do. But it's just so good of God of reminding me that He works all things for our good, for His glory, for those who He has called up according to His will and purpose. So I just want to encourage you with this because it, it was very encouraging. Uh, how gracious of my God to remind me, look, if you didn't have cancer, if you did not have cancer, you would not been able, you would have not been able to talk to this person about me. Um, I, I tell you, it is amazing. You know, <laughs> I look at myself and the fact that I have lost my, my hair, my, my eyebrows and all that, and, and it is difficult. You know, um, it's not easy, but I am grateful, you know, that God, in spite of my my shortcomings and my limitations, He, he chooses to use my, 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 my circumstances for His glory. And, and I just want to encourage you to continue, you know, to, to persevere and be uh, always intentional. Uh, be ready to, to share the gospel. Uh, with anyone that that is willing to listen, you know. Uh, so I just want to share this with you, and I thank you for your prayers. Uh, please continue to pray for my healing, if the Lord is pleased uh, to grant me the life and the time I need to finish raising my children and, and serving Him on this earth. Uh, thank you so much for your prayers, and and um, continue to to up, uphold me before the throne of grace and. And pray that God will give me more opportunities to share the gospel with others. Thank you so much. God bless you guys.